guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Can't believe it's already been five days, right? Um, I'm a bit sniffly today. I think it's the weather in Texas going back and forth from cold to rainy and hot to foggy and wet and all the things. Um, <laughs> I am currently sniffly, so hopefully it'll go away, but you know, that's how it goes. I am drinking my coffee this morning. Um, this is my second cup. The first cup had in the um, peppermint collagen, which is delicious, by the way, uh, with some half and half. And this one is uh, just half and half. And I tried the, I'm gonna put it up here, the Skinny Syrups Sugar Cookie Syrup. Excuse me. And I am not a, as many of you know, a sweet, coffee person like I don't normally like I don't put stevia or swerve or monk fruit or any of that stuff in my coffee I've always just been whatever the creamer is and the coffee for I've been that way for a really long time uh, I, I'm just not into super sweet coffees unless it's like a treat uh, a sugar-free treat you know Dutch Bros or somewhere um, but I was like you know sugar cookie syrup sounds good so I wanted to give it a try so I bought that um, yesterday uh, and thought, you know, if I don't like it, I'll just give it to one of my keto friends who do like those syrups. So, um, I figured, you know, I could use it for something if not in my coffee, but I really like it. I'm surprised. I didn't do a ton, ton of it in here. Um, but it just has that hint of, I don't know, Christmas cookie yumminess or whatever. So it's really good. So anyway, today's video, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, um, some motivational books that I like. So I'm going to give you uh, my top motivational books that I really, really, really have enjoyed. Um, for those of you that don't know, when you do 75 hard, which you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I've done it a couple of different times. I, um, this year I'm doing all the phases. Next month I do the last phase of the Live Hard program, which is going to be starting January 2nd. Um, but one of the requirements is to read 10 pages a day. I am not a reader. <laughs> I am not like the kind of person that reads all the time, um, like a lot of you are, and, and I just never have been. Um, and it really takes a lot for a book to keep my, my interest because I'm not a reader. Um, so when I started the first time doing 75 Hard, I was like, <sighs> like for me, that was the most difficult thing was reading my 10 pages because I'm not a reader, <laughs> as I said. Um, so, but I was able to find some really good and still have been so far because I, I asked people who are doing it as well um, what they're reading. Um, I found some really good books that have kept my attention. So that is like amazing for me. Um, but if you're a reader, you'll like these too, obviously. Um, but let me just show you guys my top ones that I have enjoyed doing 75 Hard. And I have never reread a book but some of these I would reread. Um, so that tells you something, right? Um, but the first one I'm just gonna put up here, there goes Snoopy. I'm gonna show you guys that clock room a little bit too. Um, I'd, I'll show you guys some uh, other decorations that I didn't show in my vlog yesterday just because it was dark and I wanted to have more light to show you guys. Um, so we'll let Snoopy finish his little dance over there and then I'll tell you the book. <laughs> oh, goodness. There he goes. And the cuckoo clock will probably go off in a minute too. But anyways, uh, the uh, first book that I wanted to tell you about, I'm going to put up here, as I said, it is Iron Cowboy. So um, Iron Cowboy, I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Um, you should follow him on Instagram. He's great. Um, he, his, he has <clears throat> run several times, done a uh, 50 triathlons, and he did it in 50 days. And he's done it different times over again, I think. Um, but the book is talking about him doing that and what, uh, when, and what, you know, what happened on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's just very interesting. Um, it's very, uh, you're just amazed at what he put his body through and how he met his goals and all the things. It was, it's a really good book. I highly recommend it. Um, if you want something motivational, um, the next book, and these are not in any like order of like. I liked the, this one the best and this one the least or whatever. I liked all of these books. Um, Lone Survivor. I don't know if you, I know you probably, some of you have seen the movie. I don't know if you've read the book. I had seen the movie before I read the book, 
but it was a long time ago. Um, but I really enjoyed this book. And another book that I'm going to recommend is kind of related to this book. So uh, it was kind of neat that I had read one and then I read the other one. And there goes the cuckoo clock. But Lone Survivor is definitely one of my top picks. Uh, the, the story is fantastic. Um, what he went through and everything. So I highly recommend this book. And the one that's kind of related to this one, come on, cuckoo clock. <laughs> um, boy, the things you just can't control. There we go. <laughs> the one that's kind of related to this one, because these two people knew each other when uh, this was going on, is David Goggins' book. If you have not read this book, Can't Hurt Me, you have to read this book. It is so awesome. The, and the his story of how he overcame his childhood and the things he's done in his life and what he did to his body as well. Um, you will, it, you would not believe it's great. It's very motivating. I would definitely read this again. Um, one book that I discovered just because I'm always on a budget. And when I went, go, went looking for books before starting my next phase, one of the times was, um, I went to half price books. And so I just went to their motivational section and I was like, let me look and see what they have. And they had this book by Chrissy Metz, you know, from This Is Us. Um, and it's called This Is Me. And it's her by her self, you know, her biography. She wrote it. Um, and it, it's really entertaining. It keeps your attention. She's a really funny person. Um, and she's just got a genuine story uh, about how she start, where she came from as a child, all the way up to where she got on This Is Us. So... Uh, this is a really good book. I highly recommend it. It was an unexpected one that I really enjoyed. Okay, this one. You have to read Can't Hurt Me first, okay? Once you've read Can't Hurt Me, then you need to read this. Because he is in this book too. <laughs> um, so this book, Living with a Seal by Jesse... Uh, I always say his name wrong. I Eitzler? Um, anyway. Um, <clears throat> he hired David Goggins to train him. Um, and this is all about that time when, when he came and lived with them and trained them or trained him, um, and all the crazy that went on and what he did with him and all this stuff. Um, and it's pretty interesting. And he also has another book living with monks. That's on my list. It's right here. Um, as one I want to read because I figure it's probably just as entertaining, but, um, he literally goes and lives with them and trains him and makes him, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, so <laughs> this is, it's funny. It's so funny. I loved it so much and I would definitely read it again. Okay. So this one, this next one is one of the best biographies I've ever read, I think. And I've read a few. I've read Sel Selena, which I really, really loved. Um, the one that Sel Chris Perez wrote. Um, and I loved this, that this is me, but Matthew McConaughey's Green Lights. Um, if you've ever heard Matthew McConaughey speak, he is just an excellent speaker. And if you can imagine that and you're reading this book and I, I have the audio book on my um, tablet too, just listening to him talk is so motivating, right? Um, but this is, again, the story of him from his childhood to when he got discovered, when he was going to UT Austin, all the things. Um, but he's very, just his writing is just like the way he talks. It's very entertaining. So if you haven't read this, I highly recommend it. It's a really good book. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. It's got lots of pictures in it of from his childhood and through up to when he got discovered and it's great. Um, this one to me, it was this next one is kind of a, um, I don't want to say I was kind of on the fence about it. So it's a good book. It's one of the best books for, for learning and making habits in your life, but it was harder for me to get through. And I think it's just because I am not a reader. Um, and that is Atomic Habits. So, um, and this one's actually Shelly's. I got to give it back to her. Um, but it was just really hard for me to get through this book. Uh, but it's really good. It has lots of good advice about making habits, good habits and changes in your life. Um, as far as fitness or just day-to-day -day life or goals in your life of career or whatever you want to do, there are some great, um, things in here that, that you can adapt to your life. So that's why I included it, even though it was harder for me to read, uh, because of that, um, because it has such good chunks of information in it. 
And those are my top ones. There are a lot of other good ones that I haven't even read yet, and I'll share those with you later if I like them. Um, but when I start in January for uh, phase three, I'm going to start reading Drew Brees' uh, new book. Um, and I'll let you guys know about that one. So I'm, I got that one for Christmas last year, I believe, and haven't got to read it yet. So I had all these other books ahead of it. <laughs> so I'll read that one next. That's the next one on my list. But I did read the Selena one. I got that one for Christmas as well last year, um, I believe. And <clears throat> it was... It was uh, really good, the Chris Perez uh, with Love, Selena. I think it's what it's called. That was really good as well. Anyways, let's go do Advents, and um, who knows what else is going to show up in this video. Also going to show you, like I said, the other little decorations around the house as well. So anyways, tell me down in the comments, what's your favorite motivational book or your favorite book if you don't ha haven't read a motivational book? Uh, and are you a reader or, or, or are you like me? and you read really slow or you don't read that much. Anyway, tell me in the comments. Okay, so this is the Snoopy clock that you guys heard going off um, while we were trying to talk. Um, it goes off just like a cuckoo clock, whoops, every hour, but let me show you. There's Snoopy. And I put this out every year for Christmas. It's one of my favorite Christmas gifts that one of my daughters gave me. Um, and I have a different one that stays out all year that's not a Christmas one that's uh, Snoopy, but this one is the Christmas one. So just wanted to show you guys that. <laughs> so these are our nutcrackers. Um, there were a few more that we used to put out, but um, since my son has moved on, we let him take his with him. Um, and these are ours. And then these are some of the magic cord ones that we have um and you they're each they have lights but then they each do something <laughs> there's santa the suit seems a little tighter this year maybe i'd better go easy on the cookies to and then let's see where's snoopy or charlie brown one whatever peanuts that's what i'm trying to say i can never find their button let me see where it's at right in front of my face i'm sure well, let me look. Found it. <laughs> Here's another Santa. <laughs> I'm always jolly when I'm making toys for good little girls and boys. A robot for Robbie. A horsey for Sue. So those are those. That little tree used to light up. Um, there's the pickle. That's not where it'll stay. It'll get hidden on Christmas for someone to find um, when they come over and we give a gift card for that. Um, my mother-in-law started that. So my husband is, is kind of like every year, thanks mom. <laughs> Cause now everybody's like, when are we going to do the pickle? <laughs> anyway, let me show you what's on my table. So I've got a bunch of homeschool stuff over here I need to clear off, but we've got this, the Charlie Brown tree and the original ball that was on this is red and it broke. So that one is holding its place for now until we get another one from Dollar Tree or somewhere. Um, then this is my um, Peanuts Nativity, which I love. Has all the characters doing the nativity. And I absolutely love it. It's one of my prized possessions. So that is that. This nativity I've talked about before, I absolutely love. Um, it was carved from olive wood um, and it's from Jerusalem. So it's very special to me. Someone brought it back for me um, from over there and I love it. Okay, so on the coffee table, we have our uh, peanuts train at the kids' school. And then we put a few of these little hallmarks in the middle that have um, little characters that sit on them. I usually put a bunch of my other peanuts ones that make noise on here. But as I said yesterday, um, some of them are getting broken um, just because, you know, of course the kids want to play with them. So um, I'm just going to not put them out for a couple of years and then put, start putting them back out again. But I don't mind them playing with this because it's wood and it's really meant to be played with, right? So, um, and this is a broken ornament that needs to get fixed. These two. Um, here's the little train. 
and they're magnetic so the kids love playing with it i don't mind them playing with it so that's why this is out then the other thing is the and i know jen will love this because she showed hers um this is a uh, ceramic tree that is was my grandmother's and so this is really really old and precious to me so I keep it in my bathroom. I think it looks really good lit up in here. And so that's why I like it in here. But I uh, put another little extra nativity down underneath it. The kids have a tree, but they haven't decorated it yet. Um, when they come over and get here for school, um, they'll get to put their ornaments on their tree and we'll fluff it up and turn on the lights. So these are all of our stockings. Hung up with care, right? <laughs> So y'all are behind, so you can catch up on your advents. So my floor. Ooh, I got a Christmas tree. Yeah. I'm gonna open my floor. That tastes so good too. Ooh, I think I got a Christmas tree too. Now I got a little reindeer dog. Aww. What else did you get? So that was number four, Liam. Wait, now you wait, is this a teddy bear? It is. Oh, that's cute. I got a teddy bear. All right, are you on the fifth one? Mm -hmm. I got a tree. <laughs> Open my advent. We need number five. Do you see number five? Right there, yeah. Push it through. Pull it up, pull it up. I'm trying to. Try the other way. I can't do it. Pull well, hard. There you go. Okay. Let me see. That? It is a Cabernet. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll save that for later. Mm -hmm. And now we'll do the cheese. Can you find number five for the cheese? What is it? It's a Gouda. It's a Gouda? Ooh, yeah. A spicy Gouda. Gouda's good, huh? Yes. We Gouda like a Gouda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the kids finished decorating their tree, so I wanted to show it to you. Um, these little ornaments that we use on this tree are puffy ornaments, and these were my son, my son, my husband's when he was a little boy. What did you say? Um, the puffy ornaments. And so he's had them his whole life, basically, since he was a little boy. And they're really the cute. Puppy. I think his mom made them. The hey guys, thanks for watching day five of Vlogmas. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things before you leave. And I will see you guys tomorrow.